everybody. Welcome back at 745. It is Tech Tuesday. I feel like we're all getting very tech savvy here as we work to learn new things to stay entertained in our homes. Craig Nibbler from Digital Trends is back with us this morning. Social distancing from the studios. Good morning, Greg. Good morning. Yes, I'm social distancing myself. This is actually my living room where the new Digital Trends Live setup is. I never thought I would be broadcasting on coin from my living room, but nonetheless, that's the world that we're in right now. Yeah, so wow, you're uh, officially we're trying to keep everybody up to date with Right? I know. It's it's kind of weird. It's uh, turned this whole thing into a studio, so it's it's pretty cool what we're doing, but we're trying to keep everybody up to date, too, with everything as it changes so rapidly, and so many people are working from home now, especially with kids. Now, kids are at home with everybody, and so it's a whole new world of education for that. We have a new exclusive up at Digital Trends right now just talking about that, about working from home and education in this era of coronavirus. So we've got a lot of really good tips up there just about different ways you can try to find some different educational programs online, but also keep people entertained with like virtual museum tours and virtual zoo tours, different things just try to try to eat up some of that time of the day. Yeah, I was looking at that exclusive report. You got a lot of different options on there if parents are pulling their hair out. We uh, want them to check it out for sure. Uh, some interesting other tech headlines here in the coronavirus pandemic. The CDC now has a coronavirus chat bot. What's going on there? Yeah, so it's another use of kind of a virtual assistant bringing it into this modern age and, and with medical technology because a lot of people are, are searching for information. There's a lot of misinformation out there about the coronavirus. The CDC is certainly a, a good, you know, reputable source to go to. Uh, but what they have here with this chat body is you can go in there and kind of answer some questions. It'll ask you about some of the symptoms if you think you're feeling something along the lines of what may be that. And it'll walk you through if you need to actually go see a doctor or it'll tell you like, hey, doesn't sound like this is what's going on. But it's kind of a nice way to, to streamline that a little bit, maybe alleviate some fears and some anxiety that people are having. But that's what they've got up there right now at the CDC site. Yeah, and that is one of the best sources to go for all of this rapidly changing information. So, okay, while people are hanging out at home, looking for ways to kind of pass the time, stay entertained, we're seeing even more movies now coming out uh, for streaming and digital. Yeah, a lot of production companies, I mean, obviously they can't have them in the theaters anymore, so they're switching them to going online. We saw Disney do it. You're seeing Universal Pictures do it. There's actually one from Paramount, the new uh, Kamel Nanjani movie, uh, The Lovebirds, which was going to be out in theaters. They just skipped it directly from going to theaters and went straight to Netflix. So that's just another example, and I'm expecting we're probably going to see more and more of that as, as these production companies have these movies sitting around. They've got to do something with them, either delay them a year or send them to streaming services. So it's, it could be a good time to get a lot of that streaming in your home coming up pretty soon. Yeah, that was one that I thought looked pretty entertaining, so I'm going to have to stream it. All right. Thanks, Greg. And, of course, you can find um, links to all of Digital Trends special reports on education, all the new streaming and gaming headlines at coin.com, and you can check out uh, Greg on Digital Trends Live from his living room. Just click on AM Extra. Okay.